Hi, my name is Eric Filson, and I'm a director of photography and a filmmaker. And just thought I would do an unboxing video here for the iPro for Artemis. If you're not familiar with the Artemis app, then I'll put the address here so you can check that out. I'm not going to go into great detail, but the Artemis app is a uh, digital director's viewfinder for the iPhone and iPad. This particular um, kit is for a um, iPhone and it's actually um, some lens adapters made by Schneider Optics and uh, so some got some good quality glass here. Um, I'm excitedly awaiting this for a little while. In fact, I was early on when I started uh, using um, Artemis, the app, I actually suggested to the guys at Chemical Wedding that they come up with uh, lens adapters so you can actually preview wide-angle lenses. So, um, otherwise you've got no way to be able to uh, be able to really see what a wide-angle lens looks like. Say like a 12 millimeter lens or uh, even a 21 or 24 had no real way to see that. So this um, is uh, specifically developed and calibrated for the app. And um, let's see here, got the director's viewfinder logo there. It's got on the back there. Um, so anyway, it turns your the application turns your iPhone into a professional grade director's viewfinder. Um, and used by cinematographers and directors worldwide in collaboration with Snyder Optics. The specifically made iPro lens allows Artemis to reproduce lenses as wide as 12 millimeter for most Super 35 millimeter sensors, uh, sensor size digital cameras. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. I'm waiting for this to come in. And uh, see a nice little box here. All right. So, whoop. And see here, I've got a nice little card, some packaging. This uh, basically tells you, please read before installing your phone in this case. This rugged case was designed to fit your iPhone 4, 4S perfectly, holding it safely and secure at all times. Uh, anyway, it tells you basically how to put that in. Also, guys, the address here, put this up. Um, iProLens.com uh, for more information. So, take a look at this here. Alright, so, uh, in our box here, looks like we've got a nice, uh, here's our um, case for the iPhone. Um, it's basic plastic. I uh, got some threaded holes. Um, can't tell if there's metal inserts in that or not. Hopefully those won't strip. Um, nice thing is, is with these lenses you can get a different, uh, for like an iPhone 5, you can get that. The lenses still pop on, so you can order that if you upgrade your phone, which is eventually I'll, I'll do. Um, so just simple, real basic case. Uh, looks like we've got a lanyard. Some lanyard to be able to hang your phone or your directors you find around your neck when you're using that on set. Um, this must be, maybe this is a lens cap? Looks like a lens cap, tiny lens cap. Okay, and here must be the lenses. Um, now this here is actually a um, This here is, um, can operate as a handle, I believe. Um, so you can screw this into, yep, screw this right into the phone case, just like that. So you got something to hold on to. Also, this would be for you to clip your uh, lanyard to, right? So you can hang that around your neck so you don't drop it. Sure setting up shots, figuring out camera placement, that type of thing. So that works well. Um, looks like there's some screws here. This 
So it looks like here is our super wide. So a little lens adapter there. So you can uh, pop that in. You can see the way this locks um, through here and just fits on. See, it's there. Fits on right in there. Line that up. It locks. It's pretty secure. That's not going to come out. Got that. So, and it's got a nice thing. It's got the little uh, mount here for the lens so that it actually locks in. It's not just loose. Alright, so it's actually firm. Um, and here is our two times teleconverter. Uh, the kit that I got here is the master kit um, that comes with the two times uh, 2x teleconverter. This should allow you to preview lenses up to 300 millimeter uh, in the Artemis app. So it's the same thing, got the same mount, and that works by threading that right on there. Okay. So I'll have to take some shots. Uh, with this, and I'll put the, those up and see how those look. Um, it's, like it's got a nice padded area there for your lens, so it's not scratching anything. I believe this, let's see here, this can also unscrew. Yep, and this is a standard quarter 20 right here. So it's got a little rubber part there to hold it in. Uh, but this allows you to mount this on a tripod or a grill pot or whatever if you wanted to be able to mount mount the whole unit to be able to take some pictures uh, if you need that. So I got the other, uh, my, my other thinking here is I'll be able to um, really use this whole thing for um, shooting still photography as well, so that'll be good. Alright, so I'm going to take a few pictures uh, with this kit, see how that works. Um, Actually, I'll get my iPhone, and um, you can see here I've got an OtterBox case. Um, I usually use this just to protect my phone. So it's going to be a bit of a pain to have to take this out every time whenever I want to uh, be able to actually shoot you know, something, but it's part of the cost of having cases and you know, that sort of thing. So. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I'll just take my phone out. So here's my phone. Um, so according to our lens direction here, uh, it says to install, simply slide your phone into the case, your mute volumes and volume buttons up. Um, so you just clip it in here, like that. Put those buttons in first, obviously. It looks like that clips right in there. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And uh, then you'd be able to, uh, once that's on, obviously you can mount things into it. It's pretty simple. Looks like, and there we go. Mount that right on the phone. Let me see here. Um, let me go ahead and launch the Artemis app. Here's our uh, the Artemis app here. Okay, so there's our, there we go. So I would just press and hold this on the lens button and then um, it will tell you, you can you see the two or the two X teleconverter or here's the super wide. Turn that on and I can tell that it tells me that I can go uh, actually, there's a 14 millimeter lens I could preview, so that's pretty cool. There's no way you can actually able get a full full frame otherwise. Anyway, so there you go, the uh, iPro Lens uh, Master Kit for Artemis. So here's a picture that was uh, taken with the standard lens, and that's just the regular standard uh, picture that I took. Uh, this is with the two times teleconverter lens attached. This is from the exact same position. And the final image we're going to see here is the wide angle adapter 
that was on the phone. So again, this is just three different pictures showing what the lenses do in relationship to one another. Here you can see a couple of just some exports. This is an 18 millimeter frame. Uh, here's a 50. So you can kind of show you, this is again taken from the same spot of previews. Here's a 135 millimeter. Again, these are exports actually from the Artemis app. And here's a 300. You can see the 300 is a little bit uh, grainy, but that's all right. Gives you still gives you an idea of the actual framing. Got a couple of updates here um, after playing around with this a little bit. A couple of things as far as installation of this into the case, they recommend taking your um, buttons, putting it in where this slot is here, right, and uh, then clipping this in. Okay, it snaps very firmly and it won't come out. Um, of course, removing it can be a trick. They also give instructions for that. Um, so if you're going to remove it, they suggest putting the handle um, and putting it on the opposite side of where your volume buttons are. So I'll screw this on. Um, so the opposite side of the buttons, they say flip it over, and they say um, using this bracing up, using the handle pulling up just a little bit and pressing down right here to pop your phone out. Okay, so that's pretty simple um, as far as fitting your, uh, your phone in and uh, popping it out. But they do recommend taking it when you take it out using this handle and, and flexing the back a little bit and it does uh, make a difference. Alright, so um, another thing here uh, that I wanted to show you that I didn't realize this earlier that I discovered is that this top part can unscrew. And uh, so this has a quarter 20 right here so you can actually mount this to a tripod just like this. Or if you want that extra height and keep the handle on it, um, you can mount this as a quarter 20 as well. So, um, and then of course this quarter 20, I guess, if you wanted to keep those, keep your lenses, you know, because it is a quarter 20, if you want to keep your lenses and just have your director's viewfinder, um, and keep the lenses in your pocket or whatever, you weren't using a ton of them, you could screw this on and do the same thing. So you could actually go directly off um, that mount right there, or do the whole thing, or, you know, so it gives some uh, variety of options um, to be able to do that. Uh, this, indeed, it is a lens cap uh, protector. Um, you can see that when you pop your lens on there, um, you can see that uh, this will allow, you, it will allow you to be able to pop a lens cap. There you go, protect that. All right, one thing I did notice with this was that when you have this thing attached with a handle and you've got this around your neck, it's a great way to uh, make sure you don't drop it. But um, if you let this thing dangle and hit, this will actually, because of the length of the lanyard and my torso length, um, this actually bangs the lens and the phone right against my belt buckle if I'm wearing a metal belt buckle. So that's a problem. I think what I'm going to do is figure out a way to shorten this or add some sort of clip um, or a buckle sort of thing so I can actually adjust the length of this lanyard so I can bring it up maybe about uh, four inches um, or so just to keep it above my belt so it's not you know hitting my belt all the time. So I may do a little bit of sewing and modification of my actual lanyards. That's one thing that could be an improvement on this system. Uh, one thing also would be nice to have is some sort of little um, um, lanyard um, or um, some sort of place to actually put this because I'm afraid otherwise I might lose my lens cap. I've almost already lost it once just because I put it down someplace or whatever. Um, so having some sort of little strap on this or um, maybe even putting like Velcro to snap it on or something um, just so you don't lose your lens cap have a place to actually put that would be a good idea. So anyway, um, that's the uh, iPro um, for Artemis. I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and kind of brief review of this. And uh, please visit my blog. And uh, thanks for watching.